Yeah, I don't know. I was looking. How things been with Coach Sheffield on Sunday so far? Coach Rock's been great. Everything's been great. He's been picking it up. I know it, it's a it's a lot it looks a lot for him, but he's doing a great job. He's doing a great job at uh, learning the schemes and picking it up and answering all the questions I asked him. I asked him a lot of questions too. Are you guys teaching him a lot of things at this point? And he's, he's still getting used to the defense. I'm sure there's a few things you guys can pass on at this point. Maybe, maybe, maybe something, but nothing that I could think about at the top of my head. Mostly he has down. He's got down for the most part. He's down. He's got down for the most part. All of a sudden now you're starting out there with the first string with Jahad Woods. Peyton Pelour has gone. Just what's it been like sort of stepping into a leadership role for you six practices in? It is fun flying around there, you know, I'm my own person, you know, I, um, and I like to bring energy, talk a lot, you know, pick our defense up, whether we're doing good or bad, saying, you know, let's go, let's bring it, and, and things of that sort, but uh, I just uh, really focus on, on on doing my job to the best of my ability to, for us to know the players out there on the field as a defense. And, and I know your teammates, but you and Sharon both want the same thing. What do you have to do throughout the rest of spring and then in fall camp to really seize that starting spot at Mike? I just come, keep competing every day. You know, uh, Coach Clay says, you know, that we're, and Coach Rock said, you know, every day is a tryout. Uh, never be satisfied. So you just make sure you're working hard out there, running around, flying around, but having fun too. You gotta make sure you have fun. You can kind of describe Coach Rock's personality in comparison to Coach Wilson. Are they, are they similar or are they different? What have you had to adjust to? That's a tough one. I think I think we're uh, we're still in the honeymoon phase for the most part. Uh, there's there's nothing negative I could say. He, he's a great guy. Um, he's funny too. We're starting to see that he, he cracks jokes every now and then, but, but he knows his stuff and, and he really wants every player in that meeting room to get better every day. The receivers have been moving around, doing some different things. Just, I mean, what has made them a tough matchup for the defense and, and then the linebackers in the secondary at times this spring? Ooh. You said receivers moving around? Yeah, I mean, you see like some guys going back and forth between H and Y, X oh, and Z. Oh, you mean yeah. position-wise? Yeah. Oh, I, I don't notice that. I, I don't notice that, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, I really, I really don't notice that. I, I'm just too busy focusing on, like, you know, Listening to the play and then getting my alignments and looking at tendencies and, and seeing seeing how tight they are, cut splits, see if they're going to go in or out. So, so that, that sort of thing. It's more so like a, the tendencies rather than the player themselves. And specifically with Washington State and, and their passing offense, just what do you have to be conscious of when you're lining up and reading their routes pre snap and then and once the ball is in play? Ooh, yeah, you can't chase. You cannot chase those underneath routes because. That's what they live by. You chase underneath route, they're gonna throw it right behind you in the middle where you were at. Last one for Justice. How was the Lamont McDougal look at these? He's been getting more and more reps. You guys saw him a little bit last fall, but he looks pretty dominant in this tackle. He's been doing great. He's a beast. Uh, he, he makes he's, he's, he makes uh, he makes a lot of good plays out. You know, you don't expect sometimes he's double teamed. He'll just he'll just casually you know spin out of it and make the play. He has really good instincts.